what do you consider a vacation? Where do you go? Do you go to the national parks? Do you go out to the wilderness? Well, there's all kinds of options today that people didn't have 100 years ago, 150 years ago. Uh, you can pretty much pick a place on any map and fly there, drive there, take a ship there. I don't know. This is where, I, you know, I'm different than most people anyway. Now, my thinking uh, is is not like your average American. <laughs> when it comes to vacations, especially, you know, I, I get on Facebook. I don't do a lot on there anymore, but, you know, it's always somebody that they just got back from vacation. And the ones that, oh, I'm like, why? Why would you go there? These are the ones that they go to the big resorts, like in the Bahamas or the Virgin Islands. All it is, man, is a bunch of hotels, and it's all concrete, bunch of souvenir shops. Yeah, you got some beach, but on that beach, you've got thousands of people. I don't know, man. You're trying to get away from it all, but you're still stuck with thousands of people waiting in line to eat. You're in a motel room that thousands of people have slept on that bed. That right there alone. Mm -mm, I ain't doing it. If you knew what was in that bed and that they don't get out of that bed, you probably wouldn't get in that bed. To each his own. Now, my idea of a vacation, which I've had very few in my life, I just don't, I don't believe in them because I like to lead my, I like to live my life like it's a vacation. You know, I like nature, so I live out in nature. You know, I'm not, I'm not deep in the woods or nothing, but I could walk out my backyard and, and for 20 miles, it's national forest. And that's what I like. But when I did take vacations, uh, now I have been to the resorts, Las Vegas. Uh, most of the time I was in Vegas, I either lived there or I was within a driving distance. You know, I got married there the last time and stayed at one of those hotels on the strip. And that is miserable. To me, that is miserable. Some people like that stuff, but I could not stand it. Uh, just fight your people, people everywhere you look, people. Shouldn't a vacation be to get away from people? Some people like people. I like people. I just don't want them on my vacation. Now, the best one I ever took, actually, there's a few. One wasn't a vacation. I was actually homeless. That was in the Everglades. Two months in the Everglades in a tent. Now, that's, that's living right there, man. Yeah, it's in Florida. You got water. You got gators and critters you ain't never seen. And some of the biggest snakes you will ever want to deal with. You know, but I look back on that memory. You know, I was homeless by choice. And I wasn't, you know, I went from that to living a good life. So if you got a good head on your shoulders, you'll never end up homeless. Uh, there are situations that come up. You just gotta, gotta have backup plans. Gotta have backup plans for that. Uh, some people just give up. How do we get off on that subject? Let's get back to the resorts and all that. But the one I remember the most was on the Canadian Minnesota border, right on the Canadian. I mean, I could have thrown a rock into Canada, superior national forest. You talk about remote. There was nobody up there. You know, you're out there with the bears and the moose. Or, well, there was two moose. I seen two moose. Was that meese? But I was there 10 days camping. Nice. It had its own little lake, camp spot. Didn't see one soul. Not one soul. Unless I went to town for the whole 10 days. I mean, you could walk around naked. There was nobody there to see you other than the birds. And at night, northern lights. Yep, you can see the northern lights up on the Canadian border. And that was awesome. 
Now, this was in the end of August, and let me tell you, it did get down to 20 degrees at night. 20 in the 20s in August up there. That's, but it was worth it. He would warm up in the day where you could go swimming. So it wasn't bad. Now, that's just my idea of a vacation. I ain't paying nobody to go stay at some concrete high-rise hotel that has 50 other ones along the coast to sit there and be miserable. I mean, to me, I see these pictures on Facebook. They're sitting in them lawn chairs, you know, on the beach with the umbrella. But in the background, you see thousands of people. No, I'm not paying three times as much for a drink or a lawn chair to be around all them people. That ain't fun. I don't care where it is. Uh, those islands, I guess they're pretty nice. They used to be nice before all them resorts went up. Now, if you can find a place like that, doesn't have all that mumbo jumbo, then you did, you did good. And there are places like that. You know, the ocean is big. The coastline is big. There's places, you know, along the West Coast, once you get away from the big cities, there's, there's private beaches, people, beaches where there's not many people. Same thing in the East Coast. I uh, remember we had to, I was moving, I think, had to stop in Myrtle Beach for a night. Oh, God, how do they, how people stay in that place is beyond me. It was crazy. So, got a hotel room, and it was one of them, yeah, resort things on the beach. And it was what was available. And about 10 o'clock at night, you hear all this commotion down on the street, all these young, and I was young then. But I just never got into that thing, you know. All the screaming, people throwing pillows out of their hotel rooms. You can keep it. I don't want nothing to do with that kind of vacation. Um, I'll probably never take a vac what it, what people call a vacation ever again. I've really never taken too many of them. Camping mostly. Another time went to uh, Wyoming. Just past the Black Hills, camped there for a week. Uh, it was pretty secluded. So that was nice. That's what I enjoy. It may not be what a lot of people, a lot of people can't stand camping. Uh, mostly women. Because there ain't, there ain't a lot of guys that say, I don't like camping. I, I don't like all the critters and the animals. Ain't, ain't many guys say that, but there are those guys. Uh that's just me. I just don't like going to those. They're tourist traps. That's what you call them. Tourist traps. Hotel rooms. Man, live a little. Get a tent. Get a tent. Live out there with nature. Go in the middle of a forest. Clear your little spot. Put you up a tent. That is better for the soul than taking a plastic card and spending money on everything you do. Because it doesn't cost much to camp. You might spend a little on gas. Pack your own food. You're going to you're gonna enjoy it. If you like that kind of thing. If you don't like outdoors, yeah, you're straight up city people. Straight up city people. And you need to... I don't know. I just can't understand that. Can't understand it. How you could not live love the outdoors. And love the buildings. You said... I love watching them shows where they're looking for an apartment or they're looking for a home and they take them, you know, HGTV. I don't even, I ain't watched that in years. That's like when you go to the doctor's office, it's on and you're waiting and you're forced to watch it. You know, the women, the women and the guy, they're all going, they're looking in an apartment. Oh, it's dated. Look at those stainless, dated appliances. Oh, we got to get some stainless steel and granite marble top. Mm -hmm. that kind but they'll take them in these high rises or whatever downtown I don't know, Seattle whatever and they're looking out on all the buildings and the whole city and they go oh my god that's a beautiful view no it is not a beautiful view it's a bunch of concrete you want a beautiful view go to Alaska go to, uh, go to Montana 
Go to the Smoky Mountains. That's a beautiful, beautiful view. Uh, but maybe they've never been any place like that. You know? So, at least if you've never done a vacation that outdoors were involved, try it at least once in your life. You'll never want to go back to one of them concrete um, tourist traps. That's all they can be called. Tourist traps. Yeah, you know, Where you get a beer for nine, $19. dollars those kind of things. Ah. I don't know. Let me know in the comments if you like that kind of vacation or you like to rough it. Everybody's different. I ain't knocking nothing. But I'm telling you, for me, that's my thoughts on those. There's no way. I don't care if it was free and they gave me $1,000. I ain't going to nothing like that. Because that's, you're around a bunch of heidi dighty people, and no, 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 no. No. Take me on some fishing adventure. I don't care. All right, folks, we will see you this afternoon. Don't know what I'm going to talk about, but you never know. Happy trails. <laughs>